You ever find yourself in need of pulling the door off to do a flooring project or a painting project? Whatever you do, don't make the mistake a lot of homeowners do. Actually pull the hinges off. These hinges are pre-hung when the door comes, perfectly aligned. If you pull those hinges off, you risk misaligning the door. Another thing too, like you can see here, these hinges are painted over. A lot of the painters paint over the hinges. And also these screws here, they're really not the best screws in most cases. Easy to strip out. With a screwdriver, you can either strip out the head or strip out the actual threads in the wood as well. So don't do that. Real easy solution for that is just take a regular nail, any type of regular nail, flatten the tip a little bit, or if you've got a cut nail around, use a cut nail. And what you're gonna do is you're just, we're gonna take it right up in here, tap it with a hammer and pop that pin right out. Door will come completely off real quick and easy, and it's easy to reset as well. I'm gonna walk you through the process real quick, so let's get into it. All right, so we got the back of the door here. Again, you're gonna use either a flat nail or a cut nail. In this guy case, since I already have a cut nail, I'm just gonna use a cut nail. You're gonna tap it right up under here in the bottom of the hole, tap it with your hammer, and you can actually see that pin popping right out. What I normally do is I get it probably three quarters of the way all the way up, so it's not completely out. You don't wanna take it all of them completely out at the same time. I tap them most of the way out to where at least the top hinge is still in place. And then I'm gonna brace up under the door. It'll make it real easy to pull the door off without any binding of the hinges. So we're just gonna do that to all three of the pins, get them all the way up. I'm gonna need a longer nail just to get further up there. So. All right, so that's nice and loose now. See, it just goes right up. Real easy to do with a nail. Just get it to where, like I said, it's still within these two, so it's still holding the door in place. And then there's our last pin. Same thing, we're just gonna tap it up. Get that pin most of the way up. Mainly what I like to do is I like to just take a piece of wood and just brace it up under the door. I'm gonna open the door partially, and then I'll just go ahead and put a piece of wood up under here to brace it, and then I'll pull the pins the rest of the way out. Before you pull your pins out, go ahead and have yourself a plastic bag with a paper towel on, because you can see these pins are kind of covered with grease or grime. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna throw them on here, go ahead and clean them off, and then we'll go ahead and put like a white lithium grease or some type of lubricant on them. So let's shim the door up shims up under here. You only need to shim up the side near the hinges. The other side, you're going to actually use the doorknob to give the pressure to be able to pull it out. So now that side's shimmed up. I want to just pull our pins out. I'm going to start with the center one first. Pull it out. Like I said, you can see it's kind of caked up in grease. Go ahead and throw that on the paper towel. Next one, you're going to go and pull the bottom one next. Leave the top one for last because the bottom is kind of supported right now. So we're going to pull that bottom hinge and then the top one. You can see once I pulled the top one, it took try to slide a little bit. So now you're just gonna grab the door handle and then the back of the door and it slides right off. Now you can reset your door just about anywhere. Put it to the side while you're doing your painting or your flooring job. And then we're just gonna put it back. Normally when I do this, I clean the hinges really good, clean the pins really good. Again, re-lubricate them, and then we'll set this door back up there. You can really see how greasy and all that dirt is on there. Wipe all that off, but that's the kind of junk you want off. Get them nice and clean, and then lubricate them so that the pins slide great. Don't forget to clean your hinges too. If you can see all that grease and grime along these, you just wanna wipe all that off. And then when i lubricating as well, I go ahead and lubricate the inner sides of these hinges. So go ahead and lubricate the tops and bottoms here, because basically that center piece of the hinge on the door, this piece slides right in there. So that metal is resting right between these two pieces, sliding back and forth every time you turn it. So you do wanna lubricate those just to help on the wear and tear of the hinge as well. All right, so now that the project's done, just gonna put the door back on. Went ahead and clean the hinges, clean the pins off. Go ahead and put your shims back in place about where they were, set that in place. And then we're just gonna set the door back in. All we're doing is slide them, slide the hinges in through here, and then we're gonna drop the top pin in first, and then just align that door right back up. I keep the first pin with me, just when I'm doing this part of it, makes it a lot easier. First, just again, set it on your shims there. that's in place let it sit down a little bit drop your pin through the first two pieces and then you can align the others so just like that they're in place we're gonna drop the pins back in 
tap them down and we'll be done. Only thing you do need to be concerned about is the grease and stuff that comes from these. Make sure you have something that you can throw away, plastic bag with trash, um, and just to cover up so you don't get grease on the carpet. Doors back on, reset real easy, just like you saw. Again, just don't mess with doing the hinges, just pop the pins, way easier to do it. We'll see you on the next one.